Good morning, Novia. Here's the machine, Burton Brewster Express BES860. Um, as you saw, it's in good condition. Um, you know, it is used, so there are some light scratches around the front. Um, honestly, not too bad. It's very clean, especially for the age. Um, and I've just finished doing the service, so it's working like new, no problems at all. Um, and I'll be doing a coffee on it, so just turning it on. Hopefully in the video I can show you some tips and tricks that I use to make a good coffee and how to get um, the right settings. Um, so when you first turn it on, usually it takes about a minute to warm up. You see the buttons light up. So the machine is not nice and warm now, so it, it turned on pretty quickly. Um, you can use the machine straight away because it's ready to go, but it's advised that you warm it up. So you can either wait for it to warm up, so 10 or 20 minutes, um, and it should be nice and hot. And the reason why we wait 10 or 20 minutes is because the porter filter needs to be hot, the grip head needs to be hot, and also your cups. So if you if you put your cups over here, so, sorry, for 10 or 20 minutes, um, they'll get nice and warm. If you're in a hurry and you want to get things nice and hot quickly, you can just run a blank shot. So a blank shot is running uh, hot water through the machine without any coffee in the handle, just to kind of bring things up to temperature. So I'm going to do a double shot. Um, Make sure you have enough water and enough beans. Do this once or twice. Um, and it should get things nice and hot. Great. I'm going to put this on the side. Uh, and when you take out the porter filter, you want to dry it properly because uh, it's better for the grinder or it's better to uh, dry it before grinding. So this is a double basket. It takes 18 grams of coffee. So I'm going to try aim to put 18 grams. Uh, and it's important to use fresh beans because if you're not using fresh beans, the coffee will be sour and uh, you, you'll get low pressure. So make sure you use fresh beans. <clears throat> and uh, at the moment it's on grind size number four here on the left. So the finer I go, the, the smaller number, sorry, the smaller the number, the finer it is. So um, I will change this number if the coffee comes out very quickly or very slowly. Um, but just by feeling it, I think it's very close to the perfect grind size. <clears throat> different beans will have different grind sizes, of course. So uh, these settings may or may not work with your beans. Uh, so let's keep it at number four and try it. Let's put it on double. And I'm going to try to use my skeleton measure. You don't need a scale, but it helps uh, giving you more consistent coffees. So I'm going to put it on double. I'm going to put the grind amount on 12 o'clock. The amount is how long it'll grind for. Just shaking it there to spread the coffee around the basket. Uh, but it looks like we have a bit too much coffee. So let's see how many grams. Uh, actually, no, that's that's the right, the right amount of coffee. That's about 17 and a half. Um, but it just spilled uh, as I was taking it out. So aim to get about 18 grams. So 17 and a half is okay. Just for completion's sake, I'm going to make it into 18. So if you want to grind uh, manually, you can just hold the button and it'll grind for as long as you hold it. So if you want to top it up, like what I did just now, just hold the button. Uh, before you tamp it down, make sure you flatten it with, uh, with your palm or with your, um, with your hand, with your fingers. So this is what it looks like, about level with the, with the top side or with the edge and then I'm going to press it nice and firmly <laughs> it might be too fine but we'll have to see um, it is a fresh bag of beans I've just opened it 
when you tamp, you'll notice that the tamper only goes as deep as the silver part. So just look at the depth when you have the right quantity. It's a good rule of thumb and it'll help you to get the, the right dose. Just look at the, the depth. So if it's this deep, the same as the silver part, that's the right dose. And we have 18 grams now, so approximately this deep. Right, clean the edges and lock it all the way to the right. Um, yeah, uh, that's that's 18 grams. We want to double that uh, when we make the coffee. So 18 grams in, 36 grams out. I'll aim for 36 grams of coffee into my cup. Um, if you want to make this, wanted to make this a long black, you can just add hot water from the hot water cup. I like to add a bit of uh, hot water just before my coffee. Helps helps the sugar dissolve. Okay, so um, I'm gonna make the coffee now, and I'll show you how to program these buttons. So they are programmable. You can make them as long or as short as you want. I'll try to make the double button give you 36 grams of coffee. Uh, if we have the settings right, we will get that 36 grams in 20 to 30 seconds, um, which is the correct range. Like, look, it doesn't have to be exactly um, on the dot in terms of the numbers, it just has to be close enough. And honestly, I'm just doing this to get a good taste. That's, that's all what that matters, right? Um, so, Turn on my scale. To program, you want to press program and press the button you want to program. So I'll be programming the double. So I'll press the double. Uh, pay attention to the pressure gauge. You want it to be around the top side, right? 11 o'clock to 1 o'clock up here. The flow, you want it to be nice and smooth. And press double to program. If it comes out quicker than 20 seconds, I'm going to make the grind size finer. If it takes longer than 30 seconds, I'm going to make it coarser. And it's coming out. Pressure is about 2 o'clock. It is slightly slower than I was hoping, so it might take longer than 30 seconds. Yeah, it is definitely too fine. I did recalibrate the grinder, so now it's grinding really fine, just like new. I'm going to bump it up to 6, grind size number 6. Yeah, that's a good shot, but it's very strong. We're at 40 seconds now. Yeah, that's a very long shot. It just as I, expect, as I was expecting is a bit too fine. So um, I've saved the settings now, and I've increased the grind size to grind size number six. Just a note on the grind size, please only change it when you're grinding, not when the grinder is not grinding. So. Start the grinding and then turn the dial, just like that. And also keep grinding for another two seconds just to get rid of the old grind size. So now it's a bit coarser, it's at number eight, sorry, number six. Um, previously it was at number four, number four was too fine, so let's try number six. Uh, sorry, I'll let you try number six because um, for the sake of the video I'm only going to do the coffee once. <laughs> That's 36.9, so it's very close to what I was hoping, 36.8, 36 grams, this is what it looks like if you don't have a scale, or if you want to just use your eye level, uh, use your eyes and eye level it, this is how much 36 grams is. Um, it's a good shot, we have very good crema, it's very colourful, um, looks beautiful honestly, so I'll just grab uh, my milk pitcher and turn this into a latte. So... Just quickly on the steam, just to save time. Um, it's a single boiler machine, so you have to turn on the steam and wait. But the wait is not very long. Um, after the shot, just take out the port filter and knock it into a knock box. Um, if you don't have one, I do have one for sale. Um, give the machine a quick rinse. I think it's important to rinse after the shot. This will clean the group head, 
the porter filter, and um, I like to do it before and after. And use a tissue maybe or, or the or a brush um, every few days just to get rid of any built up coffee grounds and oils um, that get stuck over time. Okay, um, turn on the steam. It shouldn't take too long, about 10-15 seconds, it should start steaming. You want to get a good milk pitcher. Once you start steam coming, when you see uh, steam starting to come out, turn it off. So I've, I've filled my uh, milk jug with cold milk about halfway. I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to turn it back on. Hold on. I think I forgot to clean the one. Much better. That's much better. So yeah, I think it's a bit dirty. So turn it off. Turn it back on. Oh yeah. So once once you get the steam going, um, turn the wand sort of close to the edge and at an angle, and keep spinning it in a in a circle. Keep the wand um, tip close to the surface of the milk, so that it kind of injects uh, air bubbles into the milk as it spins it. Once the jug gets too hot to touch, turn it off so we're close. So just about there, that's about 60 degrees Celsius. Also very important, give it a rinse, sorry, a purge, so just turn it on to clean any milk from the inside and turn it back off. That's a very good texture. You may, you may find it easier to start with the milk first, or better for your coffee to start the milk first. Uh, so that your shot doesn't sit for too long uh, but I, I honestly don't have a preference actually for the video I, I like to start with the coffee so that I can teach you about the grinding first uh, but anyway that's very good texturing um, this machine can do incredible things um, you can do latte art with the machine if you do some practice um, so after you finish the steaming like you saw purge to clean any any milk from the inside otherwise it will get blocked like we just saw now um, and then give it a wipe. I'll do that soon. Uh, knock the jug on the counter just to break any bubbles. Spin it around to mix it up. And pour. I'm not gonna, it looks like I'm not going to do any latte out today. 
but that doesn't mean it's not going to be a good coffee. So it looks beautiful. You have some very smooth crema uh, and foam actually. So um, I think you'll be able to do drinks like this. And <laughs> this is not particularly great uh, art, but it will taste great as I can t as I can uh, imagine. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoy the machine. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask me and I'll see you soon. Thanks.